Hi, I'm Keith Melton. I'm the founder of the new Kane Masters Company. And today I'm here to talk to you about the three biggest mistakes you want to avoid using a cane. Now, the fact that you're interested in Cane Masters is good. Cane Masters makes the finest handcrafted canes in the world in South Florida. Nothing's imported. Each cane is made for you, and it's the very best quality you can buy. But let's get into the mistakes and how you can avoid them. When you're using a cane, it's essential that it be correctly configured to your height. If your cane is too high, it distorts your body. If your cane is too low, you have to bend over to use it. Ideally, you should be able to maintain an erect posture. I'm holding my cane in my right hand, and ideally, my arm should be bent at about a 15 degree angle so that it's comfortable, but I still have a little leverage. I can push down on it, and for example, if my weakness is on my left side, it minimizes the stress on my body. So it's essential to be correct in the right length. Now, there is an old rule of thumb that applies in about 99.9% .9 of the cases. If you want to know the correct height for your cane, wear the shoes you normally wear when you're out. Measure your height. Take your height, divide it by two, add a half inch. That is gonna work almost all the time. When you're walking with a cane, it's essential to understand the basic ergonomics of how you use a cane. Now, you always want to use your cane to offset an injury or a weakness or some physical problem in your, your infrastructure. So that if I have a weak left knee, I wanna carry my cane in my right hand. It always offsets. It's never on the same side. So that you'll see people walk, and the idea is if I have a weak left knee, when I walk, I'm using the cane to sh take some of the weight. I'm shifting the weight to my cane to benefit my leg. That is the most important thing you can do to immediately reduce stress on your body and some of the pain you may be experiencing. There's always a simple way to tell if a person's had some training with a cane, and that's the way to watch how they hold and use a cane. Many people use a cane with the hook, the horn, pointed to the back. That is fundamentally incorrect. So yes, I'm saying that 99% of the people you see walking on the street with a cane could be more efficiently if they do it properly. For a traditional J-top cane, ideally I want to hold it comfortably. It should be so that it's there to take the weight off my infirm leg or the leg I have a problem with, but ideally the horn should be pointed ahead. And the reason for this is when it's pointed forward, the axis of my arm is aligned with the shaft of the cane. When I hold it where it's to the back, I'm actually cantilevering off the horn and it's much less efficient. You'll find it's more comfortable always. With the open hook forward, we like to think that if you have a horn, if you have a design on your cane, the little eyes should always be looking forward for trouble. If you remember that, you'll always know how to carry it properly. When you're walking with a cane, obviously the weather, surface conditions, you're gonna walk differently if it's dry pavement than if it, you're walking in snow or ice. Never go faster than your environment allows you to walk. Always be careful. Now, if my left knee is injured, I'm gonna walk ahead. I usually like to put my tip of my cane down just before my leg hits. So I'm testing to make sure it's good. Now, if you're on ice or snow, then you're actually trying to feel to make sure that your cane is firmly planted before you put that weight on your infirm leg. If you get in a habit, it's very comfortable. It should flow naturally. You shouldn't be conscious of your cane. One of the things we often say here at Cane Masters is if you live long enough, 
you're going to need a cane. So why not enjoy it, learn to use it, and once that time arrives, you'll be ready. Many of our viewers often comment that I like canes with a palm rest. There's multiple reasons. The primary reason is that when I'm holding a cane properly, and that is with the horn forward, the weight often falls on the back of my fist and it sits comfortably in this little valley of the palm rest. And so it's actually much more comfortable to stand. With my back problems and knee problems, standing still in a store can often be painful. Perhaps you have the same problem. And if you have a wonderful wife like I do who loves to shop, I'm often kind of an accoutrement to her and watching her. So when I have my cane with a palm rest, it's easy to shift the weight and it makes waiting much more comfortable. Now, there's another reason for personal protection. That's something we can talk about later. But if you're considering a cane, you're going to be carrying it, look at one with a palm rest. It works very well for me. To avoid the biggest mistakes, always number one, make sure your cane is properly sized. We have videos on that. And if you have a question, you can always call us. But just remember, wear the shoes that you would normally wear with your cane. Measure your height in inches, divide it by two, and add a half inch. That'll work about 99.9% .9 of the time. The second thing is, when you're carrying a cane, remember that if your infirmity, if your problem with your back, your hip, you always want to offset that. So if I have a weak left knee problem, I want to carry my cane in the opposite or the right hand. And the third thing is carry the cane correctly. Where most people carry the cane with the horn to the back, it's wrong. The horn should be forward. That way the axis of your arm matches the axis of the cane. It's far more comfortable. A properly sized cane that you carry will give you comfort, you have less pain, and it's always there for other reasons and personal protection should you need it. At Cane Masters, we hope you're enjoying these videos. And if you do, be sure to hit the subscribe button and of course, leave us a comment. Cane Masters is a little old fashioned. We actually read our comments and pay attention to them. But if anytime you need personal help, please give us a call on the 800 number. We do our best to answer it all the time, but we're a whole bunch of busy, busy craftsmen. And sometime in the shop, we don't catch it the first time. We do listen to our messages. We're here to help. We're cane masters. We're here for you.